boys and girls welcome to my channel and to my video i did do the game before only back then without commentary this time i'm going to play it with commentary god of thunder it's a very cute game produced by argo games He's entered by Software Creations, home of the authors. I believe that was a BBS. This is on the internet. And, well, uh, yeah, I'm not going to show the entire uh, starting credits doing that. Let's just immediately get into the game. And, uh, I actually started the game itself. Uh, first, a few notes. Uh, in this game, we will assume the role of Thor, the Nordic god of thunder. Also, uh, unified with uh, his German, Germanic counterpart, Dogma. And the first day, that day of the week, was named them. Now, you really shouldn't take this game as a uh, homage to mythology, although some uh, historical uh, uh, mythology elements are certainly there. You are sent to Babel in the Supreme God of the Vikings in order to. Uh, Open with a little opening speech by Odin. The year is 927 AD at Mortal Bracket Time, and the almighty Odin has summoned you, uh, his faithful and heroic son, to the great hall of Asgard. Thor, my son, your evil half brother Loki, the god of mischief, has once again betrayed us. While I uh, slept the great uh, uh, Odin sleep, he managed to uh, subdue and take control of my beloved land of Midgard. He has uh, acquired the aid of two of his most fearsome allies, Jormengund, the Midgard servant, and Nognir, the prince of the underworld. Well, Jormengund is, of course, the final boss of the first part. Nognir, of the second, and in part three, you will fight on the news. I guess that is obvious. If you are not able to stop him now, his control over Midgard will uh, be so complete that I myself may not be able to oppose him. Uh, and his uh, two very powerful accomplices. To help you on your mission, I give you my most trusted weapon, Gildir, the Enchanted Hammer. Made for me by the King of the Trolls and enchanted by my own power, it will always return to the one who throws it. 
Now I'll do this with uh, only your enchanted hammer and a considerable wish. You must journey to Midgard and destroy your Mangleweed. Hey, Asgard! Now basically, the slot that is uh, put on my name is where my save game will be stored. I can only make, make one save game per name. However, I can play all three parts and of course their save game will be... Uh, ...stored separately accordingly. Um, I will set the skill level to easy enemies. And why do I do that? Well, because you can also see this uh, video is a bit of a walkthrough. In this particular video, I will of course only do the first part, then um, the second and last part, part will be done in separate videos. Well, since this is the first video, I may have to explain a few things about the game. Basically, you can just go around. Uh, when I press ALT, Thor will throw the weapon, and with that I can basically kill enemies. Jewels are uh, basically money, and you may need to buy stuff. Now this is not an RPG, so you don't have uh, to buy any weapons and armor or stuff. But there are some other things in which jewels can be needed. Now this sphere, there are uh, three different kinds. This is a yellow one. If you touch the yellow one, then you will get a message from Odin. My son, you must find and destroy your man, uh, your man good. Uh, his evil rule must be put to an end. When you see all these glow, one of these glowing ob uh, obstacles, touch it and I will be able to help you if I can. And I will help you if I can. I have dispatched some of my most trusted angels to help you along the way. Good luck, my son. More about those angels later when you actually encounter them. Uh, you can also find purple ones. They can be used to open or destroy obstacles. Black ones can be used. Uh, there are some one-way routes and with black spheres you can turn the direction around. Uh, well, that's basically it. Well, of course you see that I scored 100 points for killing an enemy. Now, you should not do this, but I will now just do it for demonstration. NPCs should not be killed. And here will hold it even noted. Back to zero points. Now, of course, I probably lost 100 points or 100 minus 100 is zero. Now, enemies and NPCs will be spawned if you leave the area and come back. So it's not a permanent loss, so be glad for that. Uh, of course, when your health is depleted, you will die. However, when you die, you will just... Uh, well, I can demonstrate this as I can die on purpose by pressing D. Oh. And then I will just enter the room where I started, and most of the room will also be reset too. Uh, well, apples will restore your health, and rotten apples will uh, actually damage you. And these are for rotten apples. Now, you could already see it. You can open and close the barrier. You can also do this with your hammer. Which is very important to take note of, as it won't in much in this form, but later in the game you really can solve the puzzles without that knowledge. Uh, well, nothing I can do here. That's uh, a barrier with a dollar sign on it. Uh, there are two kinds of them blue ones and red ones. And this is a red one, and that will cost me 100 jewels to open it. The blue one only costs 10. Uh, that green thing with an eye on it will kill me instantly once it sees me. 
However, I can use those grey blocks to uh, avoid that. Well, that, uh, and I can push them around. But since I don't have 100 jewels, not even close to that. Magic is at this point worthless. As I don't have any magical items yet. Using those items will require magic. More about that when I get my first magical item. Each episode has two uh, magic items and they will transfer to the next episode. So the two I will get here will also be available in episode two when I will get to it and that the four that I have for the first two episodes will play four into four three and I will get to more there with it. Uh, I guess it's all pretty obvious. Mm. Uh, well, nothing of any value here. Mm. Now you will have to forgive me a bit that my uh, recording window is blocking my sight a bit. So sometimes that can make me... Uh, Get a little bit in error as it takes a very crucial. Yeah. <laughs> this is of course handy to know. I can move a little while my hammer is coming back. Mastering that particular thing is very important if you want to beat your mangoes. As that entire boss relies actually on that little fact. Well, of course, the tile with a key on it requires a key in order to uh, to open up and get any further. As that is blocked by my recording, uh, mm -hmm. I don't see it without it. <laughs> yes, that's a bit of the downside of using simple recording software. Now, even though enemies respawn, you will just keep on scoring points for each kill. Now, when it comes to money doors, those were the only two in the free version, if I ain't mistaken. However, in uh, the uh, second and third part, it uh, will be a lot worse. Well, here you see, I can only reach the... Now, the, uh, well, the underground sections or uh, uh, yeah, it's the... Fake up that it would be a kind of uh, platform game, and they also faked a bit of a 3D style. But actually, it just works the same way as uh, the um, the uh, the rest of uh, the game. So it's just it's just a bit fooling around. Now these spiders. Uh, they can fire pro projectiles at me, and those projectiles will kill me instantly if they touch me, no matter how much health I have. Now it seems easy, as they never leave their pull, but that is actually uh, a bit of a distraction. They always go up and down. But not always do they have such a pull as a marker, so... <coughs> that crown up there is only a uh, treasure, giving me points. <coughs> of course you see that enemies that I kill uh, may drop. 
Who? These are flasks, which Ooh. give me magic points. Ooh. Apples, Ooh. which Ooh. restore my health. And, uh, jewels, of course, that Ooh. is just money. But only if they are in an area Ooh. that would be in any way reachable. And then I don't mean that there are no blocked uh, things between that and me. But uh, some areas are simply not accessible at all, and there is nothing make drop, as it is a bit pointless. These cups are also just treasures that give extra points. This is what I mean that those green things kill me instantly. There is, by the way, no way to kill those uh, green uh, things uh, whenever they are. Something very, very important to me. 
go away and I can't help you until I've found what I'm looking for. And if I speak to that woman now, she should reveal that she uh, was actually the one who stole. Mm. 
Particularly in the other two episodes, you may need, uh, that crap. Mm -hmm. You will have some more uh, money doors there. Particularly part two is a bit infamous for that, but more about that when I actually get to towards that part. I'm already looking forward to that.
Those birds are pretty nasty. <laughs> This guy will ask for 100 jewels, don't give them to them, that's all he will say is thanks. Which is uh, actually uh, pretty useless. Bit of a trap that one of these uh, dumb folks can uh, also ask for 100 jewels and give some valuable information in return. Well, you see that uh, giant uh, well thing there. Um, I can't reach him from here, he will be important later. Well, uh, you see a little shrub over there. Fortunately, it's just one shrub and not an entire bush, so I can create an entire shrubbery to please the knights who say me. <laughs> Notice if you use the shrub, then this will happen. Why would you go and eat a poisonous shrub? Oh. Now, the key items are always put in the far right of your inventory window, and you can only carry one. At a time. Basically, if when you get a new one while you're still carrying uh, the old one, then the old one will simply be replaced. But rest assured, you won't need it then anymore anyway. And now I can reach that uh, giant thing, and he wants my poison scrub. It's apparently his food. Hey, that shrub smells good. Can I have it? Just because I like you best doesn't mean my brothers will. <laughs> Yeah. Well, basically it goes like this. Oh. They will throw rocks. And if those rocks hit me, I will oh. be dead. And of course, I need to focus now, so I will shut up now. Perhaps I'm just trying too hard. Well, all that is here are just these keys, and yeah, I know what you're thinking. Are we supposed to get the entire way back past those giants? Unfortunately, yes. Now the thing is that all goes past my recording window, oh. so I really can't see what I'm doing. Of course, I have oh. to. <laughs> I'm just way too fast. I'm not focused. 
I have to watch out for that giant. Okay, we'll make it past that one. Ooh! They all drop the rock at the same time. That makes things easier. And uh, of course, you may have seen this. Meat is doing pretty easy. Well, trust me when I tell you. But the first time I played this game, I really cursed the hell out of things. As uh, it takes uh, quite a lot of practice to do that one right, I tell you. <laughs> Just perfect timing, those boulders, once I push them, they won't stop rolling until the ray is blocked. Uh, and then it requires perfect timing to get to the uh, side. You shouldn't be too fast, and you shouldn't be too slow. Uh, of course, this is a point of no return. As there is no way to get back south here. And basically the same applies here. straightforward in how to progress, even though you can basically come back to areas you've been before, except in a few cases when the puzzles are set up that way that returning is no longer possible. Well, I said it before, the black spheres will uh, turn that one way around. Now, I can just pass east-west through when it points up, I only can't go south. As long as it's pointing uh, to the north. So basically it only marks the place that you cannot go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, 
like I said, your hammer will not be very important to uh, reach riches at a distance. Now, you only need it for the purple ones, never for the black ones, and especially not for the yellow ones. However, the yellow ones are basically always optional, and all they do is uh, give some needs from Odin himself, should you need them. Now, this part is terrible. Uh, I require two keys. And this is a base. For me, it's just uh, going a bit around uh, at random, hoping that I will... Uh... Get to the places where I need to be. Do I know the way around here? No, I don't. I forget it all the time. This ma and uh, you can't get away with a kind of keep left uh, process or anything. Now this <laughs> is where one of the places where I want to be. This the hermit with his his puppy has one of the keys. And then Papa Bear said, "Oh, hi, Thor." Uh, a body shoe uh, could get lost in all these uh, caverns. Here, take this key. You will need it later. <coughs> and now, of course, to find <coughs> the other. <coughs> There is an angel here that is uh... basically those red angels, which I will encounter a few later, are pretty much useless this way. However, of course, a green angel allows me to get both my magic and health up, and a red one only my health. Okay. Nothing here. <laughs> yeah, well, that key is where I should get to. If you ever have taken a look, then you will see that there is no way to get there from here. I will really need to find the entrance uh, on the other side. And although the entrance as an exit will always lead to the same place, at least I gave me that favor. Um, there is not really uh, a there's not really a kind of respect for the laws of physics where the uh, caverns go to and where not. So like I said, basically it's just walking around randomly for me now, hoping that I will eventually end up where I want to be. Oh, my God. 
I don't know for sure, but it's quite possible that this is where I want it to be. No. I'll be damned. Apparently, I've not been here yet. <laughs> Is that a good or a bad thing? <laughs> of course, that's uh, all to the west of me. Is uh, the exit of this base. But then I first must get myself that second key. <laughs> Yes, this is where I want it to be. At last. Of now to get out of here. When you wish to save the game, you can just press S. But please note, leaving the game and loading a save game will technically have the same effect as dying. So resetting the room you are in and... Got a red angel. Yeah, this is uh, one of the uh, harder portions. Uh. If you do that just right, you can sneak that key right from that green thing's side. Of course, I can also do this. Ooh. Basically, I busted the puzzle up this way, but hey, I can just leave the room and get back and that key will be mine forever. Now, I must note, uh, in the original free version of the game that I had, this was even more terrible, as uh, this story. Yeah, next to that uh, eye over there, I should of course pushed that uh, thing first. Stopping this boulder was not there. Causing me a lot of uh, trouble, actually. Of course, I'm not focused now. Getting this rock precisely in position, not to mention the other one, was actually just uh, a little jump. Now let's rock. Of course, it is, this is one of the most hardest puzzles to puzzle out. I can tell you that. As getting in the sight of one of those uh, green worm eye thingies is uh, actually something that is very likely to happen. Well, I can only push this one, but I need. Yeah, perfect. As for the uh, for the boulders, goes the same thing as for me. I cannot move anything against the direction.
Now there are no switches, so you cannot uh, remove those uh, barriers, but uh, you will not be in that much trouble. Because you were not supposed to anyway. Because I did kill it. This is a very nasty one. And thinking too lightly about this one will get you killed. First, this one. Well, so far the easy part. Although it is not as hard as it looks, as you may already have seen uh, how to deal with this. And you may also have seen that this is a point of no return, as when I take the exit to the south, I would come back, then I would immediately get killed. Basically, this puzzle is just pointing out itself. Yeah, you really saw how the hammer with reacted to me on the way back. Because that is very important if you are reliant on that. And, well, basically, uh, when it comes to defeating your main goons, then you are very much reliant on the way back. But I will explain why that is. Well, this is a bit of a nasty one. It requires perfect timing. Well, I don't need that boulder really anymore, so that is too much of trouble. Over anyway. And well, this is actually uh, where I will get my final confrontation with your mangoes, or almost only three screens away. That's it, huh? Oh yeah, I really didn't want me to do that. Yeah, I, c I cannot see everything. The, uh, everything right from the bottom of that little pond is uh, out of my sight. Of course, now I did create a kind of a no-win situation. Oh no, 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 I see what I can do. Get in my 
my way. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> and the last two angels. In order to get uh, ready for your main goat who is waiting for me as soon as I exit east. Um, now, the only magic item that I need in order to uh, win this fight is actually that magic apple. That uh, lightning is absolutely useless. Now, what is very important if you want to beat him is to watch that crowd. Uh, only when you hit it with the hammer while it's on the way back, you will actually hurt it. I'm actually disappointed as I'm usually doing it without one point of damage, but I guess I wasn't focused enough. It sounds will of course sound every time you hit a boss that goes for all three bosses by the way. And you really even need to hit it by its crown. On the way back, the hammer will hurt it. For everything else, that snake is... ...in its own. This is only a one stage boss. The other two bosses have two stages in which the second stage actually activates as soon as uh, you are halfway. Never really count how much HP they have anyway. That's not the. Makes me lose my focus, of course. Let's freeze the game. And count. One, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's good to know. <laughs> oh my health, health bar crop is really terrible for my uh, skill. <laughs> the last test one I did before I started recording was actually a perfect one. I really wanted to show you that. Yeah. I guess... Playing it at once. It's not good for the focus. Come on, it's match point. Yes! Since I am the full version of the game already, that's all that has to 
attachments will be pulled out of the way. And the rainbow bridge breaks by frost will appear, so uh, I can end this game. Yeah, well, in the high scores you see my name on top, and the other names you see are just the uh, developers of uh, the game. Well, of course, a nice title picture of uh, Thor defeating Yomingo. And of course, uh, my uh, next target will be Nokia, and I will show that one in the next video. Thanks for watching! I will see you next week. Same time, same channel. Goodbye.